Thank you. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to the Queen City of Cincinnati and Paul Brown Stadium right on the banks of the Ohio River. Today, it's an AFC North matchup between our visitors and the Cincinnati Bengals. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Set, ready, and logo. Number 53, Mike 53. In your face. On first down, Jones. And incomplete to open things up. He was trying to get it to Cameron Artis Payne. And that'll bring up second down. The touch and time here critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Throwing again here on second down, this time complete. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. That'll move the sticks for the Browns, a gain of 12. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. The throw over the middle taken in. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. To throw again on second down. Jones, he rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception throw. And that last one, that hurts. And an alley to run. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. This is a little bit like baseball here. Strong up the middle. Both sides want to be that. In this case, the offense ended up winning the ultimate battle. And those big runs between the tackles, that's a little deflating for a defense, isn't it? It really is because that's where your strength's supposed to be. You're supposed to be in a spot where they can't make that yardage there. You're supposed to send them outside. Not in this case. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. Throwing Jones. He's going to have the hook up to Ross. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 21. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Looking to throw on second down. Jones. Yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not. And they'll try to convert on third and inches. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. Throwing on first down, Jones. The quick slant caught. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick. Get it out of your hands in a hurry. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here's Jones, throwing on fourth down, and he's got it, touchdown, Bengals. A two-yard touchdown grab, as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Point after, right down the middle. 
I do believe we came here to see a game, didn't we? And it looks like he's running what we call routes versus air. You just go out there with your offensive unit and throw the football with no defense. He's five for five on the opening drive. He was on his game there for drive number one, but my only thing is now he can't go any higher than that. He was so perfect. Can he do it again later? Yeah, all he cares about right now is making it 10 for 10, 15 for 15, <laughs> Keeping that going. and he feels like he can get it done. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. They throw again on second down. This one's complete. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Now Jones. And that is incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. This will be fielded at the 17. A 46-yard punt, eight yards on the return. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Cincinnati getting the football back here. And as a broadcaster, I, I guess it's my solemn duty to say that cliched line that everyone's been saying. The Cincinnati Bengals, CD, as we head to the offseason, they are on the clock. <laughs> Record-wise, worst in the NFL, 2-14. and 14. But, hey, if it was Andy Dalton's last game in Cincinnati, Week 17, he did get the victory over in-state rival Cleveland to get him that second win of the year. And what a great win for him because of all he's meant to that franchise. You remember when he took over there, Expectations were low. Got to the playoffs his first year. You know, he and A.J. Green looking up for big plays. And he's been a terrific quarterback for them for a long time. The team has now gone into a, a regression. And they'll probably start fresh. And frankly, they were on the clock probably starting October 1. Okay, so that's kind of where it went for them. I would think quarterback would be the place that they'll look with the number one pick overall. And there's a certain quarterback out there that everyone's talking about and speculating who was darn good last year in the, in, in the college football that could very well end up in Cincinnati. And by the way, he has Ohio roots. They'll get 14 on that one. Good for a Bengal first down. Jones now on first down. He's going to float this one. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. That one good for 37 yards. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping him on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on him, not just a matter of. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. A nine yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you? Looks like their memory was a little too long there. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. CD, we got a little time here before Cleveland takes their next snap on offense. Quite, quite a ride, really, for the Browns in 2019. Freddie Kitchens really hardly knew you. Gone after one season. <laughs> Remember, people had elevated the Browns, not just playoff contenders, really, but Super Bowl contenders in the preseason. But that 6-10 and ten finish brought them back to earth in a big way. Well, let's go back to the preseason. And we did talk about those high expectations. I think that you and I both pumped the brakes on the Super Bowl talk. I thought playoff talk was legitimate. And when you look at this roster, whoever ends up taking over as the head coach of the Browns, they should be very happy with the talent that they have and a chance to chase a division title in the AFC North. So we'll see if this team matures, learns from this past season where expectations were too high and they didn't come close to meeting them. But I think it's a roster well worth noting that they can make some noise if they come together and play at their best. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Second and five. He dumps it off to Artis Payne. 
And he'll get it down to the 47 here. It's a gain of five, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Now the Auburn alum, Artis Payne. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. Yeah, that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. 50, play. 58, right over there, right over there. Yeah, yeah. Mike, 58, right there. Let's make these guys. On second down, Dunbar. Yeah. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Now Jones from the gun on third down. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Back to throw. Jones. And this complete to Mitchell. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Throwing again on second down. Jones, it's caught. Mitchell, and down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That'll move the sticks for the Browns, a gain of 12. Jones on first and 10. It's complete. Artis Payne. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm. Well, they Absolutely. They saw it all the way. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab as they are now on the board here in the first half. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Jones. Good throw again. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So now third and ten. A big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Jones now. From the gun, he'll throw. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. Back to throw. Jones. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. That one good for 15, and the Bengals get a first down. Brandon, I have one word for you after that completion for a first down. Lucky? Analytics. <laughs> well, the analytics say you punt the football there. <laughs> so we're changing the analytics as we go, right? What a big-time play for them. And really, it took a big-time chance. Yeah, big-time first-half chance. 
The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now Jones operating from the gun. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here of the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. A lot of the problems have been on the other side of the ball. Is that frustrating for a quarterback who's been playing well? It is, but there's no way that the best ones let their teammates know that. They actually take it upon themselves and say, okay, I have to do even more or I need to play better. Maybe even say, I put my defense in a bad spot. That's what true leadership shows you. Yeah, well, he doesn't need to change much personally. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. So we have cut an abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. The Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Well, pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes this forward for about six. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four third quarter and you've got the lead you're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now they'll run it now out of the gun and he'll get it down to the 47 here that one a first down pickup of eight they're trying to show that they can run the ball protect this lead give it to the backs play a little bit of keep away don't you think and that's probably a good philosophy at this point going to make that defense stand up and stop them They'll run it now, out of the gun. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Second and five now. Jones, open man is Ross complete. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 26. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. 46 to Mike, 46. Jones throwing on first down. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That was well defended, and while it was a completion, it resulted in a loss of yardage. It's really, really hard for a running back to think to himself, I probably should have just dropped it and saved the yardage. It goes against the entire training that he's had his whole career. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off down at the 10. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, partner, let's put a bow on the Super Bowl for Kansas City. What a comeback win. Yet another come from behind victory for Patrick Mahomes and company. An absolute heartbreak for San Francisco. Didn't Madden 
predict Kansas City would win the game? Yes, 35-31, I believe they predicted. I felt like most of the predictions I saw had the game in the 30s, so a little bit lower scoring than we expected. But a lot of fireworks down the stretch, all by Kansas City. But how about San Francisco? Had the lead in the ball, under 12 minutes to go, and held Kansas City to 10 points through three quarters. And somehow, they're winging their way back to San Francisco, trying to understand how they lost that game. Yeah, not only did Kansas City win it, but they end up winning it by 11 points. They didn't see that coming at all. Now a man open down the middle of the field. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept their minute by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. They go play action here on first down. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. That catch good for five. It's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun. Jones. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Well, the crowd doesn't like that. Was going to bring up fourth. Now it's first. <laughs> they don't like it at all, do they? It brings them back into it, but really not in a positive way. Now they're angry. That can jangle a team a little bit as well. Pass interference ruined that series of downs for them. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Jones to throw again. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Jones now. From the gun, he'll throw. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give the defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. The Bengals' drive about to get going. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they through the interception and finish off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. Back now in Cincinnati. It's the Bengals in possession of the football and in possession of the lead as well as we start the fourth. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Bowled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. Saw through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. 
Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick outs, things that they consider safe. They'll try and run for it on first and goal, and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play, and that'll bring up a second and goal. From back at the four, here's second and goal. 46 to Mike, 46. Here we go, let's bring it. Let's go, let's bring it. Let's bring it. Mike, 46. Second and four. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I think someone's going to get in the QB one's ear when he gets to the sideline. Already thrown an interception. That That's one right, should have right. been picked. Look, let's just be honest about it. That would be the second person in his ear because he's hearing it in the huddle right now. Not the start to the game he wanted. Like you said, the pick on the opening drive, second drive, not much better. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Well, the first play in the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. From the gun, Jones. And he will find his man on the outside. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Looking to throw, Jones. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And he's got his man on the out route. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Now Jones on third and two. He's got a man, it's Mitchell. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 43. So they'll come up in Bengals' territory now with a first and 10 at the 43. Back to throw. Jones. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. 22 yards there, a first down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. The throw on the quick slant, going to be complete. And down inside the 15 he goes. A good pick up there for the Browns, 15 yards. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll be taken down at the 2-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line. Second and goal. 
Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got it second and goal as they look for a late touchdown. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. Cameron Artis Payne. His second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys are back within a single score. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one to five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one to five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, uh, yeah. yeah, you know. It doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Cardell Jones and company heading back on the field. And right now, probably just one thing in his mind, it's getting back to the hot start because he's really faded. And ordinarily when that happens, he, the quarterback, as you know, is usually the leader of the squad. Now he's probably a, a silent camaraderie that comes around him saying, hey, guess what? We got you. Don't worry about it. Let's go, big fella, because they know more times than not, he tends to pick things up, and they tend to play well. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. They'll run it now out of the gun. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 12 yards that time and a Cincinnati first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well conditioned. And he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Looks like he'll throw here. That's caught. It's Eli Rogers. Rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. And Charles, you know what coaches always tell us. We want to win our home games. That much we know. We want to protect our home turf. They got that done in this one. Exactly right. When you start a season, everyone's goal. Win all of your home games, split your road games, and you